wanna begin by saying kalalal ya hawa ba sham ya washai you know ba sham ya ka ha kwadash you know i do some want to give the honors and the apostles and the elders of gms you know salutation to all akim around the four corners of this earth you know pushing this word in sincerity and in truth zin so right now um i just want to do a lesson on um titled uh defenestration you understand because i was watching um a movie recently you understand um this movie by the name of accident man that was released in um 2018 and one of the assassins that was inside the movie you know the accident man yeah you and that that's the character right he um you know use a word you know defenestration you understand um so i look it up you know i google it you understand you know to get the the breakdown of the word you know <clears throat> you understand so i want to go in that you understand um <coughs> and this is it when i put it in the, when i type it in the google search engine the, the search engine this is what came up you know defenestration defenestration right right is unknown right um the formal definition um the formal humorous definition is um the action of throwing someone out of a window as yes, a death by defenestration as of venerable history right so is the act is the action of throwing someone out, out out of a window right the informal definition is um the action or process of dismissing someone from a position of power or authority you understand and when it, when when applying this you know this term in a spiritual sense you understand it um actually either one of the definition can work you know you understand because the, the is the action or the process of dismissing or throwing out you know someone out of a position of power or authority out of a window seen so when when you go into the scriptures because you know we, we we view things through a spiritual eye you know everything that you know that goes on around us you know we, we, we view it from the perspective of you know yahweh bashim yahushai you know why yahweh bashim yahushai after say about you know you know his knowledge after say about whatever we we, we we viewing you know what we seeing what you know because because the most i we view things according to you know how the most i stipulated you understand because we're operating off of the, the vibration you know his spirit you understand with his words right but the, but the um the verb for this for this term would be um so we wouldn't say defenestration when we know that um if we're using it as a verb we we'll say defenestrate right which is um coming up loading in google just now you know you know we as um the new man in Yahweh Shai Hamashayak, you know, we have to basically defenestrate, you know, the old man outside of our window. You understand what I say? And the window in this case is going to be our minds, or which is our heart. You understand what I say? You understand what the scriptures say? You know, the wise man, the wise man's eyes is in him head. You understand? So we have to show the old man, you know, usually they say the eyes is the window to the soul. <laughs> Yeah, so, so if you throw the old man outside of that window, which is our mind, right? But um, this is the verb. Defenestrate. So it's... Defenestrate. All right, right? Meaning to throw someone out of a window, right? The informal definition, remove or dismiss someone from a position of power or authority. You know, we have to dismiss that, that, that old man, which is of the world, you know, which is, which is carnal, which is of this world. You understand what I say? And basically remove him out, out of the, the, from a position of power or authority. And what, what is that position of power? You know, that Yahweh Shimeosha created us with. Created, you know, is, 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 um, that, that is our mind. That is, the, that is, the, that is where the, the, the power seat, as I brought it out in a previous lesson. You know, the heart is, is the seat, is, 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 is the, basically the power seat. You understand? With your soul. You know? That is the central. You know the central seat in a your in a your whole entity. You know that everything go down. You understand what I mean? I say your soul because why? The scripture says as a man think it so is he. You understand? So how you think? 
that is who that is who you are you understand and hence why you know it's very important for you you know for, for basically come back to your power and come back to your rightful state of mind you israelites you so-called native indians you understand you so-called hispanics you so-called blacks so-called negroes so-called jamaicans so-called Bayesian, so-called you know you know afrocentric um you so-called um, Colombians, you so you, you know these terms is by ter is by words, you know that was prescribed, you know under the curses, you know that the most I said that they would put upon you people because y'all don't wanna listen, you all, all wanna keep that old man, you want to keep on that carnal, that carnal, that, that carnal mind, which is of this world, which is of the heathens, you understand? You want to be like the heathens who wasn't created on your level but actually created to serve you. You understand because why scriptures that Israel is created above all nations, right? But let me just go into um the scripture right here. Let me you know let me, let me read it from the scriptures. You understand because we you know we're not just building things. You know we're not just saying things. You understand if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So let me get it into the scriptures and prove it. You know I show you why you have to defend the street. You know. The old man, what you have to do it is because the most I say you have to do it. You understand what I mean? I say? And Yahweh Shai came in the same spirit. You understand? And this is um Second Corinthians, right? Chapter 5, verse 17, right? And it reads, Therefore, if any man be in Amashayak, he is a new creature, right? All things are passed away. Behold. All things are become new. Sin. It's all right. So why 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 um why why the prophet saying this? You know, you become a new creature under under Hamashayak. You know, in 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 Hamashayak in Yahweh Shai. Sin. All things are passed away. Hence why you have to defenestrate that old man outside of your head, outside of you know, outside of your mind, outside of your heart. You understand outside of your soul. You see me? Because the old and the new don't mix. The old and the, 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 um, the new can't mix. You understand? What the scripture say? A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So you can't be... You, if, you, if you have the new man and the old man mixing, you know that is a, you're going to be a double-minded man. You understand? And you're going to be unstable. But what the scripture say? You know, wisdom shall be the stability at all times. You understand? Wisdom going to keep you stable. You understand what I'm saying? Where you get wisdom from? Everything that is writ written in this holy scriptures because why Yahweh shall come in at the volume of the book. Sin. Right? So old things and the new things can't mix. Right? And 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 this is why. This is why because Yahweh shall talk about that. Yahweh shall himself talk about that, right? This is it. And give it in a parable. In in um Luke uh, 5. Right, verse 39. Right, so in Luke 5, verse 39, it reads, um, it reads this, starting at um, 37, you can't start at 36, right? And he spake also a parable unto them, no man put it at a piece of a new garment upon an old, if otherwise then both the new make it a rent, and the peace that was taken out of the new agreed not with the old. So the old man and the new man can never agree. Because it's two different spirits. You understand what I say? One new one is after. The new is after Yahweh Shai, Hamashayak, the son of the Mosai, Yahweh. You know, whose name is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus. Because Jesus, you know, wasn't, wasn't the name given by the angel. You understand? Right? Um, <clears throat> verse 37. And no man put a new wine into old bottles. Also, the new wine will burst the bottles, right? And be spilled. And the bottles shall perish. You understand? And the hence why, 2 Corinthians um, 5 and 17. You know why Yahweh Shai say, um, you know, the, the, the old and the new things can't mix. Sin. Right, and we know about the, the law, you know, the mixture, the most, and a promote mixture, 
from down to the nations, come back down to the, the linen that you wear, the cotton that you wear, the fabric that you wear. You know, the, you do, him don't promote that. Him don't promote a mixing of seeds. Him, you understand? Him don't promote the mixing of sinners with the, the, the um with the godly. You understand? With the righteous, you know these things is separate. You understand? Right, verse 38, continuing, but new wine must be put into new bottles and both are preserved. Right, no man also having drunk old wine straightway desired new, for he had said the old is better. And why this is why this is so, you understand? Because why when they're when they taking on the, 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 um, the, the new, you know, doctrine of Yahweh Shai, you know, you understand that old man, if you, if you, you know, the old man gonna be lingering, you know. If you're not careful, you understand? If you, you know, you know, hence why you have to defend the straight him outside of the window. You understand? Because why? Everything in your house I knew is like, you know, it's like when you was back in the world and, you know, you're doing all them folly. You know, you, it's like your mind gets used to that. You know? But when you start taking in the correct, you know, doctrine of your house and the truth, you know, you, you become in contact with that. It's like everything just feel new, like, you, you know, you never hear certain things before. You understand? You never know the name of the Son of the Most High before. You understand? You never, you never know the laws them that you was violating. You know, you cut off your beard, you chop off your beard. You know, you, you do all type of folly. You know, you sneak, you sneak through back door. You know, go get yourself involved with the next man wife. You understand? You know, so these things is things punishable by death. You understand? As prescribed by the Holy Scriptures. Right, saying, all right now. So, him say no man. This is Yahweh speaking, right? No man also having drunk, right? No man, right? Also having drunk old wine straight away desired new wine, desired new. For he he said the old is better, and this is why you also have to work on 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 the, on the thing day to day. You understand? Is that and the scriptures actually talk about that. Um. Thing that is in um hold on just now second Corinthians um four sixteen <coughs> yeah right this is why yeah from for which cause we faint not but do our outward man perish Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. So every day you have to find yourself preoccupied in your first love, which your first love is supposed to be these scriptures, you know, these laws, these statutes, these commandments, you know, that is prescribed by the Moses that you're supposed to walk in because these things is a lump onto your feet. These things is what, what are going to guide you and make you upright. This, these things is what's going to basically purify your mind and renew your mind. You understand? Now no washing your face with some water, you know, and taking her fresh. Seeing as these Christians will, you know, believe that you that you just take a bath, you dip yourself in some water and you knew. You know, you cannot do Yahweh shy, you know, how much shy say, you know, so you cannot, you know, wash the outside of the cup. You know, you have to first wash the inside of the cup, brother. You understand? Right? Seeing... So watch this now, right? Um, <coughs> Ephesians 4, verse 24, right? Let me see what the, what the scriptures have to say, you know? You yeah, understand, so bringing out you know, this light that, that was given to us by Yahweh, right? And that he put on the new man, which after power... Right, is created in righteousness and true holiness. Seeing, actually, we can start from um, verse twenty-two, right? Or verse twenty-one. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, right? That ye put off concerning the former conversation of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind, right? So be renewed, you know, into into the words of your mind, the words of your mind, in the, you know, your thought process. Seeing 
that he put on the new man, which after power is created in righteousness and true holiness. Or after Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is created in righteousness and true holiness. And whatever is the righteousness and that, that true holiness, right? Um, we can get that in. Um, let me get that real quick in Psalms. Right, Psalms. Um, 119 and verse 1, 142, right? This is what righteousness is. You know, for precept must be upon precept, right? Line upon line, here a little, there a little. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh is not an author of confusion. Seeing him <clears throat> clearly outline, you know, him laws, him statutes, him commands, saying, This is righteousness, right? Um, Psalms 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, right? And thy law is a truth, right? So the law brings about righteousness. You understand? The law is a truth, and that is what will bring about righteousness, right? And the righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, right? Seeing, and, and even 144 reads, um, the righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting, giving me understanding and I shall live. The righteousness of the testimony. What, what do scripture talk about? You understand? If you test the, the test if the, the, um, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, you know, is a, is a, is a, is the test is um the, the testimony given testimony of, the, of prophecy. You understand? I mean, I said that's why I say now Revelation, Revelation 19. You understand? Right? So um I just want to read read um Colossians 3 and 10. Alright. Bring out some more precepts. Colossians chapter 3, verse um, 10, right? And put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Right? So you're gonna be renewed in knowledge. Right? After after the um after the image of him that created him, you know after so who was created um in Genesis why say was created in the image and likeness of who, you know Yahweh Ba Hashem you, you understand what I'm saying? So if we be renewed in the knowledge, after the image of of him that created him, we're gonna be renewed in the knowledge of Yahweh Ba Hashem you, you know, and um that is um let me get that. This is why it's important for you to be renewed in the image of him that created him. Right? So this is um first Samuel chapter two, verse three, right? Um talk no more exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. You understand? Um the seeing the scripture actually talk about that, you know, seeing I suppose make a filthy conversation, you understand? Uh, you know, the old man or, or something like that, right? Come out, you, you know, basically must put away all those things. And this is what the same thing basically some some will say, right? Talk no more exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth for Yahweh Bashim is a power of knowledge and by him actions are weighed, you know? And this is why you must be renewed in the image of him that created, created him, created you. You know, that is why you have to be renewed in his image, because why he's a power of knowledge, you understand? And by him actions are weird, right? Seeing um it's very important that um you're not um where does it now? You stand on your guard and renew that 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 the new man day by day. You know the new man you have to keep feeding him, you know, after that that the that, that wine, the new wine, you know, that which is your shy. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? And not offer, you know, the, 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 the philosophies, the doctrines, the old wine which is of the world, you know, the, the old philosophies, doctrines, you know, are, are the heathens are of, which is of this world. Seeing, um, it's good. Yeah, I wish I actually gave a parable on that. Seeing, Matthew um, 12, starting at 43, right? And it reads, um, it reads, when when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, so when you defenestrate that old spirit, you know, outside your mind, right, 
He walk it through dry places, seeking rest and findeth none. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence you defenestrate him, or from whence I came. So from when you know, <laughs> yes, and, and when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnish. Then he go it and take it with himself, seven other spirits more wicked than himself, right? And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. You understand? That, is, that was a warning from Yahweh Shine. You understand? You know, through him parable, through the parable I'm, 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 I'm telling you here. You understand? Hence why you have to keep renewed. You have to keep renewed in the spirit, you know, a Yahweh Shai daily. You understand? Every day. Because why? Them, them spirit, them unclean spirit that you're defending straight out, out of your mind, out of your soul, out of your spirit. You see me? You understand? They're, they're lurking because why? You know, Satan, Satan, the upon the prowl. You understand? And him agent, him, him agent, you know, um, the so called white man, which is you, them Edomites, them white people, you know, so called white people. You understand? Alongside the, the, the barrage, I'm squatting them, you know, which is the heathens, because why? You know, Jeremiah 51 talk about that. The golden cup, you know, all these heathens drink of the philosophies, the doctrines, of the, you know, the so called white man. All right now, you know, them, them, them fill the earth with that, that wickedness. You understand? You know, spiritual wickedness in high places, you understand what I mean? I say? Is them, them, ex, them, um, them esteem folly. <laughs> Hence why the scriptures say, um, you know, the, that which is esteemed amongst men is an abomination unto Yahweh Bashim Because he know that is what's going to be in the earth. You know, these things that these men, you know, esteeming is not his knowledge, are not of his knowledge. But, you know, their wicked philosophies, doctrines, you know, and them wicked ways. You understand? Them, un them unrighteous ways. You understand? You know, and that's why you have to keep in the spirit. You understand? You have to keep in the spirit, keep in the scriptures, you know, a whole, whole of faith. You understand? I endure, you know, and pray also. You understand? Because without that, you know, them, them unclean spirit that you defend the street, you know, through that window there, outside your mind, you know, you have to be careful. Because when, if them spirit, they come back and come back on you. You understand? I mean, I say, what you say? They might, they might bring seven more other spirits and the same they mean in a completion of other spirits. You know what I mean? It's a, a literal seven. Any amount, numerous amount, is a barrage, is a, is a, is a team, is a squad of them. I come back upon you, you understand? So that's why you have to keep in the spirit of your Hashem, you shy, right? You know, I want to, I wanna, you know, close it off with that. You know, I want to give the honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS. You know, salutation to all the acumen on the four corners of this earth, you know, pushing this word in sincerity, you know, and in truth, you understand? I want to say, Shalom, wa Barakatam. And once again, I want to say, Kal Halal, Yahawa, Baasham, Yahushai, Baasham, Raka, Hakwadash. Sin, stay strong, Kal Akyam, Mawat Labal.